I'm afraid it's gonna pop. That's the point. Give us like five more. I don't just, I don't. No, come on. I'm going to. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs>so pipe cutter glasses box whatever could we be doing today i think you guys have figured this one out by now we're gonna do geodes again these are rocks that have all sorts of crystals inside these are several geodes that i bought from an estate sale nobody who was running the sale had any idea what they were what was inside they couldn't tell me where they came from but there was one special property about these little guys. It was not what I could see, it was not what I knew, but what I could hear. Hear that? That's what we call a rattler. If there's something inside rattling around, that means that there's a cavity inside. And if we have a cavity inside, then we've probably got some crystals inside. So first thing we're going to do is to solve this mystery and find out what's in here. But today is a geode extravaganza. We are going to have geodes cracked open with the pipe. We're going to have thunder eggs that we use the saw on. You're going to see all sorts of crystals. You're going to see some very, very cool properties. It's just going to be geode after geode. Let's get to it. So first thing you're going to do when you're breaking rocks, make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. Very, very important. I want to start with the one that I believe is the more solid one because I can't hear anything rattling and then I'm going to open in progressively larger pockets, hopefully, and see what we get. First before I crack this guy open, I want to thank JTV. They're so wonderful at getting all these wonderful specimens for us. If you would like to see more specimens, then go to JTV.com and stay tuned to the end to find out how you can get one of the geodes we crack open today. All right, I've been waiting for this so long. So we're gonna add a little pressure here. Oh, starting to crack already. I'm envisioning wall to wall, maybe quartz on this one. Oh, this one oh. fell right apart. This one surprised me a lot. It actually had way more of a cavity in it than I was expecting. Nothing was loose inside, so I didn't hear any rattle, but we still have some really amazing crystals. This is the one that just very slightly rattles, and I'm very curious to see if there's more of a hollow in here than I think too. That one broke very cleanly. Ooh, very nice. That one does have a small pocket and looks like it may be a little bit of quartz there, maybe some calcite here. Got a lot of iron staining in here, so this probably came from a place with a lot of clay. A really nice little pocket. And there's that little guy. See that little guy right there? That was our rattler. So we had a really good rattle on this one. And I'd like to get a nice split like that last one too. Listen for that pop. Boom, there we go. Got that really, really nice crystallization in this one. Really, really lovely geode here. Almost you can make a box out of it. So this is the one with the real big cavity. I'm gonna to try to split this one a little more gently. One of the things we're gonna show you later too is sawing some of these. And one of the reasons that you wanna saw them, sometimes it's cause they're like completely solid, but sometimes when they're very hollow, you really wanna saw them as well. So you can get that really nice split without them fragmenting. It went, it went. We were trying to do that really gently so we got a good split instead of having it fragment and we did. So gotta be real careful here cause it's just come off the side. Look at that. That is a huge pocket. And again, you see these little guys bouncing around here? This is what we're looking for when we're trying to find that really rattly geode is the one that has that big, huge pocket in it. Really beautiful little mirror right there. Look at that. So we found the hollows that we were looking for in these rattlers. Next, we're gonna open some thunder eggs with the saw. And the reason we're using the saw is that unlike these, they're gonna be solid all the way through. So now we're gonna go to something a little different. These are Dugway geodes. These guys typically will have chalcedony inside and it's often fluorescent. And the chalcedony is a more cryptocrystalline uh, variety of quartz, so we're not gonna see any big crystals. We're gonna see basically smooth material, likely in shades of whitish down to deep blues. Since these guys are solid, you can crack them. They just don't look as good when you do because they're gonna be uneven. So that's why I've brought in the saw. The saw blade itself, is a very thin metal blade that has diamond infused in the outer edge of it. 
Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill this with water because anytime you cut any kind of stone at all, you really wanna cut it wet for two reasons. One, whatever you're using, you don't want it to overheat and you don't wanna inhale any dust. So cutting things wet gets the dust in that water and keeps you safe while you're cutting. So we're gonna add a little water to this. We're gonna go ahead and uh, clamp one of these uh, stones in here, put my shield and my glasses on and get to cutting this little fella right here. Wow. Oh. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's a beauty. So we actually did wind up with a small little pocket there. Beautiful, beautiful bands going in there. Nice chalcedony. I think they very well might fluoresce. Just absolutely beautiful pieces there. So now we're gonna do the second one. I'm gonna cut this one long ways again so we can just maximize the viewing area of the gorgeous material inside. This one, we've got a little bit bigger of a stone. So this one, I'm actually gonna wear a little respirator mask here. Let's get to cutting. There we go. All right. So this one actually cut a little faster for its size than the smaller one did. And I was wondering why. The reason is, is on this one, we actually do have a bit of a pocket. So you've got a mixture of uh, whitish chalcedony and darker blue chalcedony. And that's a lot of the material that's gonna fluoresce. So for this one, it's really, really long. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this one crossways. And so we'll get a little bit of a shorter side. Later on, we might actually wanna saw this one into multiple slices because you can get some really good displays by slicing these thunder eggs and seeing the sequential way the interior moves. So let's get to cutting. There we go. This thing felt solid, I mean incredibly solid. And there was a little bit of hollow, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful color on that one too. Really nice color bands, you've got like the little white and then you've got some gunmetal blue and then you've got the really nice bands in the outer uh, host rock there too. Gorgeous, that one turned out quite well. I'm very, very happy with that. Now we're gonna go back to the pipe cutter and cut some that will have some really hopefully fine druzy crystals on the inside. So it was nice to sit down for a little while, but now we're back here at the pipe cutter. We're gonna crack open these wonderful druzy geodes from Mexico. These occur way down deep in a clay layer. You're gonna have a lot of chalcedony, which is the cryptocrystalline variety of quartz, probably lighter in color and with these just incredible, tiny, sparkly little druzy pockets inside that are just gonna light up when we get some light on them. So I've got one loaded up here. Let's start. A lot of pressure goes into cracking one this size. Wow, that one blew open. Let's see. Oh, this one is magnificent. Look at this. Just what we were looking for. Now that is incredible. What we have here is we actually have some really nice chalcedony with that just little finest dusting of druzy crystals over the top. But one of the things about the chalcedony like this from the Mexico region, especially around Chihuahua, is a lot of the times you will get some really bright green fluorescence. So I'm gonna take a moment here and take a look at this under the UV light. You know, the first one blew me away because I was expecting just a fine little, you know, druzy pocket and instead I got chalcedony, fluorescent chalcedony. It's just so exciting every time you do one of these guys. Here, crackling away. It goes flying. Again, this is why we're wearing the glasses. Wow! Whoa. That one went. <laughs> All right, now this is actually much more typical of this locale. You've got a really, really beautiful, beautiful druzy layer over kind of a wall of the chalcedony. You can see it flowing and you might be a little bit of fluorescence on the chalcedony at the edges. I actually got a fairly deep little pocket 
right in there. Very, very cool piece and just what we're looking to see from this Druzy Pocket. Okay, we got the next one loaded up. That previous one took a lot of energy, so you know, stretch a little bit after that one. I'm kind of hoping we get like a long, shallow hey, pocket like we doing? did. Oh, hey, Croc and Geo, it's having fun. Can I come hang? Yeah, you want to play? Yeah. Let me get this one cracked and I'll load one up for you. Watch out for flying debris. You might want to scoot back just a little bit. It's that creek, that magic, magic creek that tells you something good's coming. I think this one may have actually gone. One of the challenging things with these two is sometimes the outer layer can fracture off. And if the outer layer comes off, then that makes it very difficult to get the, uh, the inner layer. So part of this one has come off on the side. We're gonna revisit this one here, I think a little bit later and see what we get. I don't wanna keep Natalie waiting because she's so excited to open these last two. I'm gonna bring her in right now. All right, so everyone was having fun without me and I felt a little left out. You know, today I was just gonna be trying to clean out some stuff on my desk. Now I gotta crack open the geo. Dang, those are pretty. Look at it. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's gorgeous. You can see some druzy. I love those colors. Those are beautiful. Dang. Wow, look at that. I am really drawn to the band-aid right down there. I mean, I think that's just gorgeous. All right, let's do the okay. next one. Something super fun today is not only are we cracking geodes and not only did I get to crash the studio, we are actually going to be selling what you see on the table, what Christopher and I cracked together are going to be on the website. So check out the link in the description. And what's really awesome is that the more pieces that you all buy, the more opportunity we will have in the future to bring on more geodes. I might need some help cranking this one. I'm afraid it's gonna pop. That's the point. It is good. I'm like a cat. I run away from loud noise. I guys, I'm so afraid that it's what's it gonna do. Give us like five more. Come on. Come on. I don't just I don't No, come on now. I am, I'm going to Okay. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I told you that was gonna be loud! Alright, that kind of freaked me out because that was so hard to pop. I made a huge mess. That's okay, I gotta go eat lunch, so have fun with the mess. Let's see if we can get it to go this time. How many twists does it take to get to the druzy center of a Mexican geode? That's a lot of potential energy. Listen, it's ticking. Like you can hear it like tink, tink, tink. Did you see that? That was a spark. This nut is just not gonna crack in that direction. So I'm gonna flip it around and see if we can crack it the easier direction. So now I've turned it sideways and hopefully this will go a lot faster. I can literally feel the difference in the pressure. Yeah, I believe that's actually all the way through. This is the thing with the geodes, you just never know what you're gonna get. This one was such a tough one because it's solid through and through. That was a lot of work, but it was for a lot of reward. Please uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite one was, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and we'll see you here again on another unboxing.